You can pause the video anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键 Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for today, and let's see what kind of tool you need for this class. Are you ready? That begins. All right. Today we're gonna use the pencil crayon to do the work. So let's see what media that we need to use. All right. First of all, we talk about the papers. So we need to use the sketch paper. All right. So you have to check your book, the joint papers. Are they written on the cover with sketchbook? All right. If you have those, that is the good one. All right. You might using this one, mixed media. So this paper that we can use for dry media like sketch, like pencil crayon, and also can use for watercolor. All right. So if you have this, that will be great as well. All right. So sketchbook or mixed media. If you don't have any one of them, you can use the printing paper. All right, printing paper is work for the dry media as well. All right, sketchbook, mixed media papers, or the printing paper. And of course, we need to use a pencil to do the work, right? A pencils, a nice erasers, and the sharpener. All right, I'm sure you have those. And especially, I want to describe about the tracing markers. All right, I'm looking for two different sizes. One is the five points markers. Looks like the big triangle on the top. It shows a thick line on the paper. And the other one is the ultra five points marker. It looks like the needle is very small and pointed. It will shows a thin lines on the paper. All right, so I need these two tracing markers, five points, ultra five points. So what if you don't have the needle marker, the ultra five points? You can use the pencil crayon, find the black one, okay, to do the tracing. It will looks like almost like the same. All right, all right. So make sure you have the right papers, the drawing tools, and the tracing markers. Okay, so now we can start to do our work. All right, today we're gonna do something little, something cute, right? So it's winter. We have to wearing the mitten, scarf, and the hat, right? So they might buy the wood. Let's see. So where is the wood coming from? Yes, the sheep. So we're gonna do the sheet. All right. So that's it. We start with the layout. So we're gonna see how big the the sheet gonna be. So I'm gonna make the body like this big. So we do the circle or the oval, and I can place my five fingers on top. Okay, about a hand, a big oval. Then that's the body. Then I want to do a head circle, a little bit smaller. So it's about three fingers. One, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three, three fingers big. Circle. And how many legs they have? One, two at the front, not too long. One, two at the back. And I don't want them feel so lonely, so I want to make a baby one. So they can play together. The head, the body. So you see, the body looks bigger. The head is smaller, and two legs at the front, two legs at the back. Okay, so I have big one and small one. Okay. All right. So now feel free to stay with the pencil. If you afraid to make the mistake, you can use the pencil. If um. You want to challenge? You want to do it with the markers? Feel free to use it. But I will say, if you want to add a lot of decoration after, you stay with the pencils. All right? Because when we start to using the markers, there's nothing that we can change after. All right. So let's see how can we do it. Let's start with the face. All right. So the the sheet they have the clouds. 
something looks like the glow on the head does their fluffy hair. See, I do the clouds right on top of the small circle, but over it, they are not inside the circle. They are outside the circle a little bit and cover the circle a little bit like the small cloud. Okay, then let's make the ears. The ears looks like the water drop on one side. And the other side, I will do it when I finish the later U face. See, it's about around the circle. I'm not tracing the circle, right? Because the face is not going to be the circle. Circle just helping us to see how big is the face and where is the face, right? It's just helping us to find the place. All right, and when I'm done with the face, then I can do the other side of the ears it will look smaller because it's on the other side. All right, then I'm gonna do the body and just click a little bit. So I add in the cloud the waving curvy line. See some small, some big, some small, some medium, and some big. And I'm gonna do it around the oval that I made. But I'm gonna leave this part open. See, I leave this part open for the front legs. And I'm gonna do the curvy line right here. I leave here open and add in another curvy line right on the top, just a little bit. All right, then if I'm too, uh, if I'm doing too fast, you can pause the video, you know that. Okay, so for who's done, you can add in the legs, one, two, and make sure they're wearing the shoes. Looks like the W at the bottom. All right, now I can do another legs, close it and add in the shoes, and we need to do four of them. And make sure the width of the feet are similar. Okay, so if you have any one of them looks too big or too small, try to fix it. Okay, so make sure one, two, three, four. The width of the legs looks similar. All right, then let's see the face. All right, you can have the face with the big eye or the small eye. Your choice, the nose. And you can make the mouth. All right. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the baby one, the little one. I add in the cloud here, over the circle, and on the circle. See, over the circle, on the circle. And the water drop for the ears, later you for the face. And I can do the other size of the ears. Okay, then I'm gonna do the clouds, curvy line around the big circle. And lift the bottom here, open. So I can put the legs and add in the curvy line on the top. Leg is coming up from the top here. Add in the shoes. four legs try to make them look like the similar size and you can have the eye close or open your choice all right same thing if I'm doing too fast you can pause the video you can replay the video okay so for who is done same thing you can start to add in the background, create your own story.
Okay, if you haven't done the background, you have been done your story. If you haven't done the tracing, that's okay. You can pause the video right here. But I just want to mention when we trace the sheep, the lamb, okay, you have to make sure you use the thick markers. But all the decorations, then the background, use the thin markers, okay. All right, so if you haven't done the tracing and you're still working on your background, then you can pause the video right here. And after that, we will start to do the colors. All right, it's a coloring time. So grab your pencil crayon and you might need the sharpener next to you, right? We have to make sure our color is very nice to use. All right, so let's see. You might have the question, hmm. My sheep has a white wood. So, do I just not to color it? Of course not. Sure, I know that's gonna be white, but all the white stuff, they has the shadow. So, which means you have to color a little bit. All right, for example, my white eraser, I know it's a little bit dirty, but when I turn my eraser with the angle, what happened? The top looks brighter, right? But the side looks a little bit, has the gray color on it. Isn't it? Even the eraser is white, but when I change the direction, you will see where is the line, you got the highlights, where has the shadow, it's gonna be a little bit gray color. So same thing for the sheet, okay? I'm gonna grab my blue colors, okay? And that's gonna be the same as we color the cloud in the sky. Let's see. I color here, the bottom, dark, medium, light. And let me zoom in to see. I color a little bit heavier at the bottom and getting brighter. I color a little bit dark at the bottom. All right, and maybe here a little bit. Getting brighter, getting brighter. Where I add in the curve line, I add in the shadow on it. And getting brighter. And I keep the top white. Because they are white. Right? I only add in the shadow right under and keep the top white. And let's see the difference. That's where I add in the shadow. You can't say my sheet become blue, right? Because the top is still white. So we will say that's a white sheet. If I don't add in the shadow, it looks flat. It doesn't look like a 3D sheep, right? It looks like a 2D sticker. So adding the shadow just a little bit, that can make your drawing looks more like the professional artist. Okay? So if you have the white sheep, add in the shadow. You can use the blue to do it. You can use the creamy yellow to do it. You can find the light gray to do it. Even you want to use the peach to do the color shadow. All right? So either color are good for the shadow for the white color. All right? So now I want to focus on the shadow first. Okay? Then we can color the skin, the background, and anything that we need to do. All right?
All right. What if I want to color the brown wood? What can I do? Okay. So I'm gonna choose a light brown and dark brown. Okay. So the light brown color gonna be the color for the base color. So I just color them very solid, smooth, and nice. So see, I'm not doing the scribbling. I keep the color still stays inside the body. I'm not coloring them up. No white space. Okay, that's the solely color. I only color half. Here you can compare. Then I use the dark brown color, just like I color the shadow on the white one. See, I color at the bottom. Dark medium light. Dark medium light. Dark medium light. On the bottom. Getting brighter on the top. See? And let's compare where I only color with the one single color. All right, be patient. See, I'm even I'm doing it, I'm gonna be very patient. Right? So the one with the shadow, it looks more like 3D because it looks like curved, like the cylinder, like the sphere. And the one without the shadow looks like flat, like 2D. So we're trying to make our joint become better and better. So we try to add more and more and more for every time. Okay? So whatever color you want to use, for example, you can do, I want to have a pink one. Then I can use the pink one. Then I have to find a color next to it, looks like the shadow. Okay? If I to use the orange, then I can use a uh, dark uh, middle brown to do the shadow. If I want to do the green ones, then I can find a dark green to do the shadow. Okay? So now, I know you know how to do it. So use the light color as the base color. Then use the dark color to add in the shadow. Just like what we did for the white sheet. Okay? All right, if you haven't done, you know, if you haven't done the coloring for the fur, for the wood, then you can pause the video right here because I'm going to teach you how to do the skin. All right, so same thing. You can pick any color because the, the sheep has a lot of color, right? Something are peach, something are white, something are brown, something are black. So choose any color. You may want to use the green one. I'm so cool with that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the old fashioned color, so peach. So I want to color the dark, medium, light around. So, which means where you have the tracing light, then where you color the darker color, like this one. See, I use the peach color to color around the ears and use the light color to color the middle. I use the dark color to color around, then color at the middle. Same thing for the face. Right? So whatever you have around, you color them dark. Even around the eye. Of course, around the mouth. Just color very lightly. Then color the light color at the middle. So if you have a lot of things, then you have to color them as dark. Then color the light color in the middle. Solid color, very smooth. Okay. And that you're gonna use for the leg as well. Color around. 
and color very light in the middle. So it doesn't matter which color you are using. Okay, then you have to use one single color to create the color value. But this time we color around with the markers. Alright, if you haven't done the color, don't worry. Uh, there is no tight limits. I just want to mention we can have a little bit shadow right under the shade with the gray color, very light. Something there. Be careful, you are not going to color the gray color on the, the legs, okay? I have the background so if you have the background something there like the rocks like the flowers like the butterfly or a naughty animals then they have to have the shadow so try to add the shadow for all the object on the ground okay so I know color the sky gonna be a big job so I can teach you would you color a little bit rough sky color around the around the sheet and we know that's the sky very very light if you color them very dark then you have to color entire paper but if you only color just like this very light very single and the edge just like going to the white it will be, looks like the cloud in the sky then you just need to color a little bit so which means we can use the same idea to color the bushes at the back Let's see where's my green colors so imagine there is something at the back but they are not that clear looks like they are blurred you don't see it so clear so i just color a little bit green they might be a forest at the back we don't know but we can guess because they are all the green color the same i'm gonna color them very very light because i'm not going to color everywhere they're gonna be a lot of time all this all right okay 
then if you finish the drawing and you feel happy with it, then find the spot, find the name, write down the date, and that's everything. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Let's email us to get your feedback. See you next time.